Aditiba Sola Sobola. Hi guys. This is Movies Review Differently. Today, I'm going to explain why 2018 Nigerian crime political thriller film titled King of Boys is the best movie Nigeria ever produced. Spoilers ahead good luck. Number 1. It delves deep into the dark side of Nigerian politics. Nigeria is a large country riddled with corruption and struggle for power at whatever cost. It's been a running theme in the history of the country and as such it has been difficult to bring culpable people to justice. King of Boys depicts what goes on underground in Nigerian politics in the quest for power. Sola Sobola's character in the film lays that perfect example. The depth to which it was exposed in the first film will continue in the sequel and this is an eye-opener on why the push for good governance, accountability, and transparency must continue, because if it doesn't, it will come at the cost of the country remaining stagnant and innocent lives wasting away. Number 2. Because it directed by Kemi Aditiba. King of Boys is the second feature film by Aditiba after The Wedding Party in 2016 which was a hit. The success of that movie took Aditiba's name further up having had a glamorous career as a radio and television host in the past. It was clear the first installment of King of Boys was not going to disappoint and that same feeling is going into this sequel. Number 3. Because of Sola Sobola's A Game Acting. Sola Sobowale isn't an unknown name in the Nigerian movie industry, having a successful career in both English and Yoruba titles. She is popularly known to be cast as a character that is very loud, aggressive, and volatile. However in King of Boys, she not only displayed this, but also added the element of cool, calm, rich, and savvy. The perfect picture of a sophisticated aristocrat. It was top-notch acting and no one could have done the role better. From the snippets she's done, expect more from her in the Return of the King sequel. Number 4. Casting. If there's one thing that has stood out in Aditiba's films, it is the cast. Her films have contained many a list actors and actresses in Nollywood. In The Wedding Party. Names such as Adijua Itami, Bankali Wellington, Banky W, Sobola, Ira T. Doyle, Richard Mofdamajo, RMD, Zainab Balagan, A.O. Magum, I, and Frank Donga were cast. While in the first installment of King of Boys, Itami and Sobole were recast with music artists Il Bliss and Reminis featuring, as well as Osa's Iodero alongside veterans Aiken Lewis and G. De Cossico. In the sequel, we are expected to see RMD and Charlie Boy appear alongside much of the cast from the first installment. All of this creates an exciting and thrilling viewing experience with nothing but brilliant acting from beginning to the end. Number 5. The International Appeal. In the past, Nigerian movies have struggled to get international recognition because of how extremely low they are on budget and overall production. However, with a shift away from DVD releases to cinema and digital releases, more movies are now getting acclaim. All Aditiba's productions have gone in this direction, giving her huge recognition. With King of Boys, The Return of the King was released on Netflix, it certainly has everyone talking about it across the globe. Like I said, if you disagree with any of my points, let me know in the comments section below. If you are yet to subscribe kindly take a minute to like subscribe and share. Until next time keep watching.